Hello, thank you for watching this short video on the topic of bathing and pain. My name is Adam Ferry and I'm an occupational therapist and director of the OT service. I think um, I don't just speak for myself when I say that I've often considered um, being able to justify bathing. So by that, I mean somebody being submerged in water for somebody with joint and muscle pain. And like I say, I'm sure I'm not the only one with that. It's not until I was asked for the evidence to support that, that I really uh, appreciated the lack of evidence base to specifically support domestic bathing um, alone for, for pain reduction. The truth is there is no obvious study or research that suggests uh, standard domestic bathing being submerged in warm water does anything to significantly reduce pain um, and muscle stiffness alone. Um, and we can ask, is that important? If we know from a qualitative perspective and using experiential clinical reasoning that it works, is it important that there isn't that firm evidence base or scientific evidence base? Um, maybe not. But if we're putting reports together, um, it would be really useful for us to know exactly what the evidence says. Um, so that we can not only justify our recommendations, but maximise our clients' outcomes. For example, there is some research that suggests that balneo therapy has uh, an impact in maximising the outcomes when being submerged in water. So uh, Balo in 2005 and Kiligoglu in 2009, both completed research studies that looked at balneo therapy, so that's mineral water um, bathing essentially um, and they were able to demonstrate uh, that our outcomes were improved for people um, so lumbar flexion pain reduction um, the ability to be at work for longer it altered gait patterns those sorts of outcomes they stated that were, were evidenced within the outcomes of those studies and there's other trials which include larger groups called the NIAD project, um, which was 11,000 participants in Greece, um, and that looked at spa treatment. And again, they said they were able to demonstrate that there were positive outcomes um, um, for things like uh, impact on not needing to rely on medication, um, less sickness absence days from work, less need to attend hospital appointments. From a qualitative perspective, they said uh, that there was evidence that supported positive outcomes. So really what I'm suggesting is that do we, are we aware of what the evidence says that we can do to maximize the outcomes for our clients? So rather than just saying somebody, yes, we can justify regular bathing for somebody to reduce muscle pain or joint pain if they have a condition such as rheumatoid arthritis, for example, and actually the evidence suggests that that, that that isn't necessarily the case, although they do need, might need to bathe for that. Are there other things that the evidence suggests we can do or recommend or support to actually truly maximise those outcomes? So do we look at um, the, the water temperature? Do we look at uh, the, the mineral use? Do we look at um, spa facilities on baths to really be able to evidence those as recommendations and then maximize uh, functional outcomes, engagement and occupational performance, and ultimately somebody's support somebody's long-term health and well-being. Now I suggest we don't do those things because we don't necessarily know what all the evidence says and I certainly put myself in that position uh, until I did this research. It's really interesting moving forward. If you want to consider bathing for pain reduction, let's start really thinking about what does the evidence say? In what conditions does a person need to bathe? And then can we really support that? There's a lot more information about this, including the research trials I talked about on the Abacus Academy website. Um, so I would strongly recommend that you register to be free for that. Um, and there's a lot more details uh, and links to that research to hopefully help you support uh, the reflection on practice and see if there's anything else that you can do moving forward. Thanks very much for watching.